The intention of this channel, Everything in Spirit, is to personify the natural world to the degree that we can interpret the stories that the rocks tell and identify locations where beautiful crystals are forming. In this segment, it's a collaboration with Travis Pearson, a short video about a small pocket, but Travis provides insight as to what to look for right on the surface from his perspective to locate pockets. See, and I knew that this would be a good spot because of that freaking that big rock right there. With all the activity that's going on in it, typically you can dig around anything like that that has all that activity bugs in it and there's going to be something popping. Just got to just gotta find like that sweet zone, you know what I mean? See, showing striations and this is what he's working on right now. This, these indicators, gas, volatiles, pocket space in almost a purely feldspar granite and then coming off from the sides. This is like almost myrolytic. And he's tapping into this underneath the surface. All right, Travis over here making some headway. First this one, and then this one beneath it. Just some faces for now. We'll see what happens. Okay, look what I'm pulling out. Yeah, and look what Travis is pulling out. Yes, 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 and yes. And all three sides. We have indications of terminations. And then this one, he told me his secret though. He said uh, four years ago, he went back and he planted some smoky quartz seeds here and they have grown <laughs> to mature. <So. laughs> That's, the That's the secret of prospecting. No? <laughs> <laughs> just, seed er just seed them early. Where, where are you, where are they coming from? They're kind of falling out of this back portion here for right now. Yeah. Until we can actually hopefully see a pocket open up in there. We'll see what happens. One good feature that Travis just pointed out when he pulled this one out is the ratio of quartz. You're more likely to get larger crystals and a larger pocket if you have a higher concentration of quartz to feldspar or quartz to anything. You can see how wide the distribution of quartz is in this one piece that is terminating on its side. Getting a little better. You knew this vein system was going to do something because of that rock? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and look what he just pulled out. And we have luster. See, and we got like a lot of roots down in there. Oh yeah, you're right. All that root system all in the pocket. Nothing on that one. There you go. Just a small cluster. That tip's missing, unfortunately, but. Oh, and it's tabby. That's cool, though. That's super cool. Dude, I, man, nice. Making headway. This one is fully complete. Gablin just found a big book of biotite, maybe forming on the feldspars at this point. But the bigger crystals that we're seeing always means keep on going. I have the flu, but it's Saturday, so we prospect on Saturdays. Okay, let me show you what's going on here. I reopened it. I'm following this because that actually has quartz on it right there. Uh, but there's no production that way. So no pocket space, no anything. So I'm following it like this. And right in here, I just got that one. So we get indica indication of terminated some vogue space. Yeah, it's not a great sign, but it's something to go on. So I'm gonna uh, remove some dirt here and continue that way because maybe it will pocket again. Moving away from the primary pocket that Travis located about 16 centimeters beneath the surface, the relative ratios of quartz to feldspar, aplite, wall, and host granite remained low. The frequency and size of vugs also decreased in this direction. Sometimes you don't know what you're going to get subsurface until you explore it. So without further ado, go explore. I'll leave you with a few final notes 
wrapping up this final segment of this particular pegmatite. Even though the quantity of crystals recovered in this video is not significant, it provides an excellent opportunity to zoom out and discuss the morphology of this pegmatite on a regional level. This pegmatite was 1.6 kilometers in length, roughly linear, and ran approximately on a ridgeline. Half a kilometer in this direction was the fluorite pocket, three-part series. I'll put the video link in the description. Half a kilometer in the other direction, we get to this pocket. This is the collaborative video with Travis Pearson, the longer video. I'll put that link in the description as well, in which we recovered a significant quantity of smokies, elestial, DT, tabby, and skeletal quartz forms. So the takeaway is just because you're getting a small pocket in one location, it's likely that that pegmatite is pocketing in other locations as well. So be thorough in your searching. Coming up is an exploration of the wigwam area where we find deep dark smokies, chloride included quartzes, microcline, Clevelandite variety of albite, some also skeletal forms, and really weird stuff that I have cooking in the crock pot right now.